Meg. Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Megan. Welcome to Plant Fit Meg. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I hope you'll take a look around at some other videos. I make videos about healthy weight loss, simple plant-based recipes, and living a healthy lifestyle. In today's video, we wanted to dive into the differences and the similarities between certain diff definitions that we identify mm -hmm. with. So definitions like vegan and plant-based and whole food plant-based and what are the differences? What's the nuance? Does it even matter? And so we thought we would get into it. Rai wanted to film with us, so yeah. he's going to hang out and give his opinion as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what should we start with? Well, I think the most vegan? common is vegan. I think most people have heard this term have some concept of uh, what it could mean. Yeah. Um, and it's, I think it's by far the most common, like, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah still especially generationally speaking, like my parents will forever refer to us as vegan, or they used to say vegan. Um, why why did yes, they say vegan? They just didn't know, and that's okay. That's, okay. that's why we're doing this talk. So what does being vegan mean to you, Ryder? It means like, Eating a bunch of vegetables and fruits. Mm hmm That's what I think it means. What about... Does it mean anything about animals? It means no animals. <laughs> no animals. So, do you go to the zoo? No. Or the circus? No. Or do you wear leather and fur mm -hmm. and stuff like that? No. no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so... I'll read the def definition from the Vegan Society, just so we're very clear. Veganism is a way of living which it seeks to exclude as far as possible and practicable all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose. So often people will refer to a vegan diet or vegan food, but veganism extends a lot further mm -hmm. than just food. Yeah. All right, we yeah. had to readjust there. <laughs> you okay now, bud? You comfy? Yeah, super okay, comfy. Okay, cool. Super comfy. So veganism extends far beyond just food. It includes the clothing that you wear, mm -hmm. the entertainment that you seek out, and it basically seeks to exclude animal products as much as possible. So I don't think there's such thing as a perfect vegan. I think in some capacity there are animal products used in, I don't know, glues or certain things like in your vehicle or what? in your bicycle maybe mm -hmm. or other items that you might use. So I'm, I don't think there's such thing as 100% yeah. perfect, but even in the definition it says as much as is possible and practical. Right. Shoes, is a, shoes. excuse me, is a difficult one. Um, you can get vegan you shoes. You can get fully vegan shoes. I have vegan shoes. Yeah, we both do. <laughs> and I do too. So you might assume something's vegan just because it's not made with leather, mm -hmm. but there are glues or other, other things that might be derived from animals. And depending mm -hmm. on how far you want to take it with your veganism and how committed you are to doing the research and figuring it out, you know, it just kind of depends. Uh, the same goes with hygiene products. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of hygiene products you would just figure, yeah, it should be vegan, it should be fine, but some aren't. Some have honey or beeswax or, yeah. you know, other... What is beeswax? Sometimes they've been tested on animals. That too. As well. Yeah. Yeah. Meg and I own some products that we had before changing our lifestyle that we've had for a very long time that we've decided to hang on to until they wear out that are non-vegan products. Um, but generally speaking, when we are purchasing new products, um, we we do a vegan uh, product, yeah, whatever it happens sure. to be. And we do our best and occasionally you just won't know, you know, when we buy some of Riordan's shoes, for example, we do our best, but we, we don't necessarily yeah. know. And sometimes, you know, cost can be a factor. Thrift shopping is also a factor. We're all really big yeah. on thrift shopping and going to the thrift, thrift store yeah. and buying things secondhand. Yeah. So sometimes you're, you might find something secondhand that's in good condition, but might have animal product related things with it. Yep. We're not really comfortable with wearing leather and stuff like that, even if it is secondhand. We just mm -hmm. kind of get weirded out by it. I know some vegans are fine with it, and I think to each their own. Yep. But for us, it's just kind of icky. It's a little weird. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. 
Um, so our next definition, and hopefully I can read this one out, is plant-based. The definition that we have is plant-based means food that comes from plants and doesn't include animal ingredients such as meat, milk, eggs, or honey. Um, so that's essentially it. Yeah, so yeah. it's just focused on the food and it's just food made out of some kind of plant product. So it could be processed food, it could be whole foods, Yeah. all the, all the plant-based items, right? That's true. Plant-based is also a really big marketing term these mm -hmm. days. So you'll see, you know, plant-based on tofu or on um, soy milk or almond milk, plant milks and things like that. Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of turned into a buzzword and a marketing yeah, phrase. Yeah, it's really interesting to me. It's that... interesting to see the evolution because we have been yeah. vegan and plant-based for five years. And so it's interesting to see sort of how Especially started and how much things have changed how many more new products have come mm -hmm. out and yeah yeah i would say over the last two years approximately in canada we've seen the market really shift to this uh this marketing platform of plant-based and mm -hmm. even products that have always been plant-based like meg mentioned like tofu or yeah, uh it'll say almond milk these it. things they now have the phrase Ooh. plant plant-based printed on them which is kind of funny and, to me. and always lettuce Always let us. We always let us. I think the other important thing to note about the term plant-based is that some people consider a plant-based diet to be a diet that is based on plants but could still include some animal mm -hmm. products. So we go by a definition of plant-based that excludes animal products and it just is plant and is essentially a vegan diet. Mm -hmm. But some people will say that they're plant-based, but then they still may consume eggs or Jesus milk or, or certain yeah. things like certain amounts of meat from time to time. So it's important to know that there are different definitions out there. And sometimes even if a product says that it's plant-based on it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is 100% plant-based. Yes. It might mostly be composed of plant-derived products, but it may still have milk or milk ingredients mm -hmm. or egg or something in it. So that's just something to be aware of and watch out for if you care about that. Yes, one other note on plant-based as a marketing term. Just because something says plant-based on it does not mean that it is a health food. There are many plant-based products out there that, at least in, in my opinion, are not the healthiest choices. So be, you know, be okay. aware is the best way to say it. Make yeah. your own choices, obviously, um, but be, be aware that, uh, for instance, having a plant-based burger might not be the healthiest food choice, even though it's plant-based. But it depends on what else you're going to eat it's besides true. that. And it also depends what your other option is. So if you're going to eat a burger and your options are making your own bean burger, buying a plant-based processed product, or buying a beef burger, mm -hmm. Ew. right? It's a spectrum of what is yes. healthier and what is more time consuming and what is <laughs> reasonable and doable in your life, Absolutely. right? And how often you're eating those products. So if you can opt for whole foods more often, awesome, great, it's more healthful, but obviously those processed things come into play and a plant-based product is going to be more healthful and better for the environment mm -hmm. and all those things than an animal product. What would you like to say? So bean burgers are the healthiest choice. That's true. <laughs> and you... I guess that leads us into whole foods. Like yeah. This, right? Do you like bean burgers, Rye? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we make them, don't we? Yeah, and sometimes we make different types of burgers. Sometimes. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. Yeah, so as, as we were saying, this kind of leads us into whole food plant-based or WFPB. This type of diet doesn't include any meat, poultry, fish, dairy, or eggs. It's yeah. not, however, the same as a vegan diet, which is defined only by what it eliminates. A whole food plant-based diet is defined also by what it emphasizes. So a large variety of whole foods. The term whole in a whole food plant-based diet describes foods that are minimally processed or not processed at all. 
This includes as many whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and legumes as you want. It also includes, in moderation, nuts, seeds, avocados, natural sweeteners, and certain soy or wheat-based products that don't contain any added fat. So tofu is a good example of that. Yeah, so whole food, plant-based, the emphasis is on whole plant foods. So your veggies, your fruits, yeah. your legumes and beans, your whole grains, and then a little bit of nuts and seeds and spices and other stuff. Yeah, my general rule is if it grows out of the ground and it hasn't been processed in any way, that's what yeah. it means. And then that's some, super good. some lightly processed things like yeah. a whole wheat pasta or a whole wheat you know, bread yeah, can we still do be included things. in a whole food plant-based diet. It's just not your focus of what you're consuming for every meal. That's right. Yeah. Now for our household, we mainly identify as vegan whole food plant-based. So because we try to eliminate uh, animal products in most aspects of our lifestyle, whatever is practical, including clothing and other products like that, as well as being highly focused on a whole food plant-based diet. Um, I would say that that's a fair descriptor. Yeah, and yeah. it's interesting because we define ourselves by all of these terms yeah. and I use them often interchangeably yeah. on the website and also when we're speaking in videos and things like that yeah. because I do identify with all three and as a family we identify with all three. So I do use all of those mm -hmm. terms and I use them interchangeably only because I personally identify with them and we as a family identify with them. So obviously I'm aware that not everyone who is vegan is whole food plant-based. Not everyone who is whole food plant-based is vegan, right? So it's interesting to kind of see the different communities and how they sort of come together and don't come together in certain aspects and argue a little bit sometimes. Yeah. Um, but we're part of all of those communities and all of those environments and those labels, if we want to use labels. Right? Absolutely. And as you guys know, if you've watched any of our videos, we're very focused on meeting you guys where you're <laughs> at. So no matter where you are at, dietary wise or health wise, we're pretty open to it and just want to help out. So. Yeah, and on that note, I think it's important to say whether you are plant-based or not, I hope you're enjoying and watching the channel. If you're vegetarian, if you're flexitarian, if you're just curious about a plant-based diet, uh, I encourage you to check out some of our other videos. Maybe watch our how to eat more veggies video mm -hmm. or how to eat more greens. And I just think any shift in uh, emphasis toward plant foods mm -hmm. is it's a good one. We don't say to tell people that they must be vegan, they must be plant-based, they must be whole food plant-based. Um, we're just telling you an uh, option. We're That's yeah, right. we're given an good option, one. yeah, and everyone chooses their own adventure, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was a good phrase. Yeah. Gonna Do you want to say something about being vegan? Being vegan is pretty vegan is pretty good, right? <laughs> well, what do you think? What do you think? I think it's good. You think you, it's good? Do you feel healthy and strong? Yeah. Do you have lots of energy? Um. Yes, and do you grow a lot? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you sure do. <laughs> yes, you do. And what do you th think about being whole food plant-based? I, I think it's good, and also, I eat a lot more than my mom and dad. He does yes. eat a lot. Ryer, I don't know if he eats more than us, but he eats a lot. Ryer eats a lot. <laughs> and more often. And far more frequently. Yeah. Yes. Just a quick note on the term vegan and what I prefer. Generally speaking, when I'm out in the world and people ask or, you know, they offer me food that I choose not to eat, I just say I'm vegan. And the reason I say that is simplicity. Um, the vast majority of people have a decent understanding of what a vegan diet entails. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes not. But I, I mean, generally speaking, it's a far more recognized term and it just keeps it simple. Yeah. Um, you know, when I go to a restaurant or for instance, uh, I recently started a different workplace and people have questions, right? So it's the easiest just to say vegan. And once I get to know these folks a little bit more, which has been the case most recently, 
I'll be like, well, if you want to get technical about it, <laughs> I am a vegan, whole food, plant-based, reduced salt, oil, and sugar diet living man. Um, if you want to get real if you particular. Wanna, but that's a lot, a lot of syllables to have to put out to somebody that you don't know that well. So as I said, generally I use vegan just to keep it real easy. Yeah, it's usually easier. It's usually something that people are more familiar mm -hmm. with usually people will understand it or at least they'll understand it more so than if you say whole food plant-based because if yeah. you live in the whole food plant-based community then you're very familiar with it and very comfortable with it and talking about mm -hmm. diet and things like that but if you're out in the world with the other people who eat a standard american diet or if they're vegetarian or flexitarian yeah. They're going to be more. Sometimes it's just. <laughs> yeah, they're usually going to be more familiar with veganism, um, and they'll either know what it is right away, or it's just that easy. You know, I I just don't eat animal products, mm -hmm. and it's easier to throw that out there rather than saying, "Oh, I'm whole food plant based, and I focus on whole plant foods." And da 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 da. So we identify as vegans and also as whole food plant-based eaters, as we have said. We do advocate for a whole food plant-based diet, or at least going as much in that direction mm -hmm. as possible and focusing on whole plant foods. Food is super healthy. Food is super healthy. But not when you're ordering. <laughs> or when, when it's canon. Okay. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I do think labeling and defining things can be helpful, but at the same time, you're much more than whatever label you put on yourself. So whether you identify as vegan or identify as a plant-based eater or a whole food plant-based eater, there's much, much more to you than just that. I mean, you know, I'm a mom, I'm a wife. I, you know, other other aspects to our lives. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you liked this video, please give it a like. Subscribe below if you haven't already. And we will talk to you soon. Bye! Bye!